Bears. It's going to be two or three. That's right, two or three. Us two against you three, and you guys are the underdog because we want you, Fuji. You're responsible for everybody getting tripped with that cane or getting hit in the back. You're going down. Tell them, hon. And when we go through your two guys like a stinking lawnmower right over the glass, we're going to get you, Fuji. This is Commander Shepard. Welcome to RoboFett's Bounty. Hey guys, Native Tatanka here. Want to give a big thank you to Daniel Ratcliffe for being a massive WWF fan and Hasbro action figure toy collector. Yep, just like all the masses all over the world, like me myself, everyone loved those childhood WWF memories. I remember that Hasbro action figure. Tatanka gave that clothesline tackle when you were down. Listen, also... Rob, with his YouTube channel, Rob of Fett's Bounty, also wanted to thank you for sharing your awesome collection. Again, it's Native Tatanka. Thank you for being a big WWF fan. Peace. I'm out. Check out the new WWE Retro Figure! Yeah! Kurt Angle hits the Angle Slam! Sheamus raises the bar with the Bro Kick! Daniel Bryan hits the Running Knee! Kinshasa! Cedar Splash! Bray Wyatt puts him away with Sister Abigail! Chris Jericho hits the Code Breaker! You just made the list! HBK tunes up the band! And the all-new Zack Ryder is gonna fist up your face. Scan, unlock, and play on your smartphone in WWE Mayhem. New WWE retro figures from Mattel so close to the real thing. It's like being in the ring. Hello guys and welcome back to Bournemouth, all the way to Bournemouth. It is me, um, Dan the Toy Man, um, donning my best wrestling uh, outfit as you can see. Uh, I really should grow up, shouldn't I, at the age of 34. Um, but, here I am really. Um, it's time for me to show you a bit of a collection update, talk about my series, or my uh, this, my completed, finally, Series 11 set. Um, uh, talk about a few tips on, on, on what I look for when I'm, you know, trying to, trying to get some of the harder, rarer, more expensive figures um, and have a quick look at the retro line so without further ado i'm just going to show you um my new setup my new um sort of display of the figures and then once we've done that we're going to uh, get right back into the video so uh see you in a moment all right having a quick look at the display so i'm going to work all the way from the bottom all the way up to the top so we've got um liner retros there um some of the Hasbros and some of the Retros um, on shelf two, and then uh, the third shelf uh, we've got the Machos, um, Iron Sheik, and Samoa Joe Retro, and then we come up to the new cabinet. So uh, we've got some uh, some of my favourite wrestlers in the bottom cabinet, um, and then we move up to the middle cabinet of all sort of accessory based. Uh, wrestlers, uh, Hasbro wrestlers, and then we come up to them, the big boys, the big cabinet, the big shelf, the best ones I have, um, and we also have at the top, we have a token, um, uh, Hogan, and we have this that my wife had made for me, it's a little Lego Hogan, but it's in the style of the old Hasbros, awesome, I'd love to get some more of those. Uh, and we have a spare uh, a Brutus there. 
So I'm just going to come back so you can see everything in its glory now. Right. Let's have a look at some of those figures. Right, uh, time to have a look at some of the big boy figures then, shall we? So without further ado, uh, we'll start with our uh, Black Series 10 Shawn Michaels, or uh, Black Pan Shawn Michaels as I call him. Great figure, um, I have been after, was after him for absolutely ages, um, but it's just trying to get him at a decent price. He is, of course, the repaint of the white version, which I'm going to fail miserably at trying to stack there. Um, and you can see there's not much difference. I prefer the white version so much more, just purely on the basis of the black glasses. Um, but they're pretty similar. Look at the side, they've got the same tattoo. Um, the, he, he's, uh, the black pants is slightly um, different in colour. That's not fading, incidentally. It's just the way they designed him. Um, and here's a fun fact for you. Did you know that this figure here... Uh, was designed to be a mail a mail away, and then last minute they forgot scrapped that and brought him out as a uh, as a black pants shawm. Um, and I think he's just a lot harder to get hold of, which is why they ended up with um, him being so so rare nowadays. So alongside him was this guy. Purple Razor. So he was also intended to be a mail away. Um, and he, as you're probably aware, or may not be aware, is a repaint of this guy. Um, so both absolutely brilliant figures. Um, I love the purple version. In fact, I prefer the purple version. Um, as you'll see, my um, standard versions, colours and all pop out. Um, a little bit faded here on the purple version but again I'm a great believer in purchasing figures in order to upgrade so I wouldn't go out and just plough a ton of money into a figure just because I can I'd rather get wait till I find him and uh, took a while to find him but I got him at a really decent price um, and as you'll see he's just a, a complete repaint of uh, of this razor here um, incidentally the accessories I've got here are customs they're not real so if anybody's watching this and has a couple of real chains and wants to uh, flog them to me please let me know um but i've got to say i'm so pleased that i finally got my hands on the on the purple razor so now i'm going to give you uh the series 11 and the way i thought i'd do this is talk to you about um how i've managed to to buy this set as cheap as i can so i wanted to start with a caveat and that is that when I set my set out to complete series 11, which is arguably the most expensive um, set of figures I have ever had to try and get hold of, um, I had to seriously think about um, whether I was going to sacrifice a bit of condition in order to get them for, 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 for a decent price. So um, the first figure I got my hands on was Ludwig Borger. Um, he has two flaws, as you'll see. Floor one is that he's bare impossible for my version to stand up um he actually leans against someone i think in my cabinet so i'm gonna have to just keep my hand there and secondly you'll see he's missing a finger um some people wouldn't accept that in their collection and would want him minty but in buying buying him this way um i bought him at about 60 percent less than what you'd normally pay for him so uh, my advice to you again if you if you're really desperate for the series to, to you know trying to get the series 11 figures at a cheap price and that's the sort of things you want to be looking out for um and let's not forget these figures aren't going away they've been out for 30 years they're going to still be out i know they're going up in price but you will be able to replace it or i, or I will be able to replace it at some point um and that takes me on to adam bomb so to the uh to the untrained eye adam bomb here is an absolute lovely figure, minty figure. You might notice there's a little bit of paint missing from the uh, glass there, but you think it's okay. Again, I bought this figure at about 60 to 70 percent less than what he's worth. Why, you ask? Aha. Uh -huh. If you look at the boot there, he was attacked by a small Yorkshire Terrier. Um, not mine, incidentally, but the, own, the person that I bought this from. So, uh, 
it was only fair that we got it at a decent price. But it meant that I've now got a really nice version of Adam Bomb, um, which, unless you're absolutely pedantic, um, he'll, you know, I'm happy with. Nice, clean, um, or fairly clean um, knee pads. They're always difficult to get in both really good condition. Um, and it will mean that I can upgrade him at some point. Not that I intend to anytime soon. Uh, next we'll have a look at the smoking guns here they are um, to be fair there's not much flaw in this one apart from a couple of paint sort of rubs here and there but nothing major um, they came separately when they were originally released they didn't come as a tag team although they were you know you couldn't buy one without the other if you were you know if you're an avid fan um, and as a collector obviously you know you want to get them both um, Great figures, I really like both of them. A um, little bit of uh, uh, fading on uh, on this one here, um, on Billy's face uh, and Bart. It, it is all round good. He's just got you know he's a little bit. He's got a few flaws, but um, again I picked them up as a tag team um, for a fairly cheap price. I find them really hard to find loose because um, but as a tag team you can pick them up at a sort of good, you know, what I call a, a reasonable price. And then we get into the big money. Um, so where to start? I suppose we'll start with Crush. Now I haven't got um, to hand Crush's. Uh, I guess I have. My apologies. Purple Crush is a repaint of Yellow Crush, or, or however you want to call it, Kona Crush. I think he's called. My Kona Crush needs to be upgraded, updated, but uh, it's fairly not too bad condition, but. As you can see, Purple Crush, apart from the slightly faded left arm, um, he is mint almost. And if you look at the lettering on the front, it is perfect. Um, so, due to the uh, fading on the left arm, I managed to get him at a really good price, which meant that uh, you know it assisted me in completing um, Series 11. I probably will never replace him because I don't see how I'll ever get him at a decent price. He's such a pain as far as figures go in order to try and obtain. Um, but I'm over the moon with this figure. He's, he's a really cool figure. Put him to one side. Now we're going to go into... This is the original version. This is Yokozuna. Incidentally, he didn't come with this marvellous coat, which I'd pinch for another wrestling figure well another version of Yokozuna incidentally um, but there's the original um, he so should have come with that jacket I don't know why they didn't do it here is the white version of Yokozuna so yeah he took me absolutely ages to find um, I was after him for, I've been after him for four months if not Know, a good year or so um, and it's just trying to find him at a good price because people just want to you know charge hundreds and hundreds and it sort of annoys me for two reasons firstly because it's you know no one really wants to spend, <laughs> spend hundreds of pounds to complete their collection and secondly you know it is just a repaint and it's a bad repaint because actually uh, Yokozuna had black here uh, with black tassels and white pants so you know it's almost um, you know trying to get a figure <laughs> which I don't even like um, but I, you know in the grand scheme of things I'm over the moon I've got this figure he's a cool really really you know good figure and, and what, this is one of the things I absolutely love about Hasbro's and I'm just going to use Adam Bomb as an example is the way they really proportion these figures um, you know look at if you look at the moulds you know they just just brilliant the way they put these figures together so um you know they really they really did know what they were doing back in the 90s to sort of really advance on um you know on wrestling figures and try and you know capture the market the way they did for the small four years so um i've showed you all of the series 11 bar one um i know i've talked about this figure before um i'm not a big fan of this figure um but most people know 
I suppose you have to call him the Grail, the Holy Grail. Um, he's not my Holy Grail, incidentally. If I had to put Holy Grail on any of my on any of the figures I've showed you so far, it would probably be um, Black Pants Sean. Um, but yes, here he is. He's the uh, he's the famous one in terms of what everyone's after. Um, I'm very lucky with this one because he is, other than the slightest bit of fading on his face and I'd say when I say slight I mean slight um the paintwork is mint um so yeah he is he's the holy grail he's the number one all everybody's after um I can't won't lie um you know he's worth a fortune um a small fortune I didn't pay a small fortune for him I um I paid very little but I was very fortunate in collecting this way before the crate, you know, the, the prices went mental. So um, I think it's fair to say uh, my tips for trying to find a good one for three kid is just try and get lucky because um, oh, they're just, you know, crazy prices. But don't, you know, you don't have to be a completionist to enjoy, um, you know, Hasbro's or, or figure collecting in general. In fact, this is the only line upon which I have or intend to complete. You know, to complete um, all other figure lines. I, I just enjoy the figures for for what they are. So there you go. That's my um, rundown of my series eleven and rare series tens. Um, do I want to make any notable references to any other figures? Yes, I do. I'm going to just do a quick shout out to um, Purple Brett. My apologies because I'm just pulling him out of my cabinet as I'm talking. So this is Purple Brett. Purple Brett is like Pink Brett. Apart from the fact he's got a purple heart on his chest and one other noticeable difference which I'll show you in a moment so I've got purple Brett there and I've got pink Brett there and as you'll see on the two um, there's not a lot of difference in them apart from if you look at them together purple Brett has a receding hairline and pink Brett doesn't now <clears throat> there's a lot of questions about is purple Brett a or purple heart Brett MA either way or is he not um, for anyone that doesn't know, there was three mail away figures. There's an Undertaker, there was a Hulk Hogan, Red Hulk Hogan, and there was the Purple Heart Brett. At the same time as uh, the Purple Heart Brett, or I think in series, I want to say series four, but I could be wrong here, they released Purple Heart Brett on a card. So that means there's two Purple Heart Bretts floating around, one in the bag. Which is unbelievably hard to get hold of, worth, in my opinion, thousands. And there's the purple heart on the card. How can you tell the difference? There's there's forums online that will say the the neon on the mail away is slightly brighter. Um, quite frankly, I think it's nonsense. Only way to tell a mail away Brett is if he's in a mail away bag. Um, and I think that's all I'm going to say on it. Um, so I'd like to say I've got a mail away here and he's worth a fortune, but he's out the bag. But you just don't know, and therefore you can't say you know you can't say you have one. So um, just a bit of a notable mention on that there. Um, unless he is in a mail away bag, he is not a mail away Brett. Um, I wish he was, incidentally, because uh, it would increase the value of my collection. Not that I intend to ever sell it, but it would be uh, another thing um, on the list. Uh, I'm just talking about mailaways. Will I ever complete and get the mailaways? Um, no, I probably won't. I will probably get a full, the full set because I'm only three figures away now. I need um, I need some fairly straightforward figures. I need um, Mr. Perfect, the blue version. I need Giant Gonzalez. I need one other figure which has completely and utterly gone out of my mind. Um, but they were you know, basic figures. I will pick them up at some point. Um, but yeah, um, will I ever complete the mail away's note? And will I ever get the most famous Moonbelly Kamala? Absolutely not. If I do, um, it will follow a divorce, I imagine, because I think Moonbelly Kamala commands a price of about £10,000. 
So that's a quick rundown of all the figures. Um, I'm now just going to show you a couple of notable new wrestling figures that I collect. Um, and then I will uh, leave you to uh, enjoy the rest of the videos. Right, recently I have been starting a collection of the Mattel Retro line. Some of you would have heard of them, some of you wouldn't have. So I'm going to show you uh, what they look like. I'll give you an example. This is the Mattel Retro line. And I'm going to have to keep it there because they don't stand up very well. Um, effectively, they are a... Um, a re-released um, sort of copy by Mattel of uh, the nostalgic Hasbro figures um, brought out I believe in 2016 they had a run of 10 series yes I think it was 10 series um, and some of the figures were great some of the figures were appalling um, and it covered all eras from sort of the really nostalgic um, likes of Ultimate Warrior, right through the Attitude Era, um, of the likes of sort of Goldust and uh, The Rock, Austin, and then um, also looked at sort of some of the newer wrestlers, some of the ones I, I'm not even aware of because um, I sort of follow the new, new style wrestling. Um, so I'm just going to sort of show you these figures, um, as you'll see, they are cool. I'm not a mint on card collector, but I just can't resist taking these out. I just don't want to take these out at the moment because I'm attending to collect a full mint on card set. I'm not going to show you the full collection. Um, I just thought I'd make a few notable mentions. Um, and then perhaps I'll talk about these um, in another video moving forward. So really quickly, um, all of you, um, or any of you that watched any of my videos in the past will know I am honky tonk man fan so i couldn't resist buying this this is the new style of elias um and honky tonk man came with a guitar and elias comes with a guitar so it would be rude not to own this figure um i think elias's guitar actually breaks into pieces which is really cool um i may have to try and get one loose just to take him out to stand him with the honky tonk man um no affiliation the two figures don't have any affiliation other than the fact they both wrestled in wwf and wwe respectively but the fact that they have guitars are just amazing. Um, and I also want to quickly show you a gold dust. The, a gold one. I want to show you this because I love figures with accessories. Hasbro figures with accessories. And um, this figure's hair comes off um, showing his... Well, effectively his wig comes off showing his short hair. Um, I just think that's genius and it's so clever. They didn't do enough of these retro figures with the um, uh, with the accessories, but it's just just amazing. Um, it just looks cool. Again, yeah, there is a little bit of temptation to take him out, but I, I just can't do it at the moment. Um, just going to finish up then with a look at the Macho Man. I thought what I'd do is. Um, sort of do a comparison between two different Macho Mans that they released. Uh, they released this Macho Man Madness and they've also released this uh, this version um, which is the sort of green pant, I call him Macho Man. Uh, you're probably wondering um, why I want to talk about this figure here. Um, there was a what was called a JC Penny advert um, back in the Hasbro days which showed a macho man with um, the this style sort of pants, green pants, and I think it was it, I think Zack Ryder um, own one, you know, huge collector owns it. The only the only known version. I could be wrong there, um, uh, but I thought it was quite nice that they then you know brought a token sort of version of. Um, of Macho Man out, uh, you know, sort of yeah, almost the same as that figure. Um, and I and this is the sort of NWO version of Macho Man, which is absolutely amazing. Um, yeah, absolutely great figure. Look, they really got all the painting and paintwork on it done well. Um, he looks uh, good 
but he still has that nostalgic looking Hasbro look which you know that they went for and I think they got really well so uh yeah I think that's the you know the main parts of my uh retro collection so guys I just want to say a huge thank you to uh all of you for watching this video today um yes I have donned back the uh, amazing wrestling mask um uh but yeah i just want to say a huge thank you and uh you know any questions at all uh feel free to contact me via the rob effect uh group i should be more than happy to uh, answer any hasbro related questions or uh if you have any of those uh <laughs> anyone has any of those real chains those real razor razor ramon chains um i would love to know um so for now, that's me out. Enjoy uh, this next Hulk Hogan cartoon.